Naruto manga review, the underdog that lost its way. Introduction. When it comes to the big three of shonen battle manga of in jump in the 2000s, Naruto Bleach One Piece, Naruto stands out as a pivotal part of many fans' child. It, it was a story about dreams, perseverance, and a journey of an underdog who rises into greatness. However, despite its strong start and unforgettable character arcs, I find myself considering Naruto the weakest of the big three. My love for a series is undeniable, but a closer look reveal a series issue that detracts from its overall quality. A strong beginning and the pain arc. Not a toll, initially captivates readers with relatively good world building, distinctive characters, and compelling narratives. The former arc set the stage briefly, leading up to the iconic pain arc. Here we witness some of the profound themes of pain, loss, redemption, and not a toll confronts a formidable antagonist. This art arc highlights the series' capacity to ca tackle relatively complex emotions and moral dilemmas, allowing readers to fully invest in Naruto's journey. By the end of the pain arc, after after intense battles and significant character development, it feels like a natural climax. However, the, the significant the, the, late, the later arcs into unrevealed cracks in the narrative foundation send the stage for what will become an uneven ride. The de decline, the Five Kage Summit, and the Fourth Great Ninja War. The Five Kage Summit arc shows signs of wear and tear, introducing political intrigue and battles that, while entertaining, lacks the emotional weight that made earlier arcs need. While still engaged in pace is slow and some character motivations feels forced, like Naruto begging in front of the Rai Kage to spare his war terrorist criminal boyfriend, or Sakura's fake love confession and, and drugging her teammates to do a, a dumb plan to kill Sasuke, or K Kakashi being a ho pretty much a shitty mentor, or Sasuke becoming a, a repentant war criminal terrorist who m discards Kata and tries to murder Kakashi and Sakura and, while laughing about it. And yeah, how the true decline begins with the fourth great ninja war arc, where the story spirals into a narrative laden with excess. This war just numerous com complexities and characters which, instead of enriching the story, lead to confusion and fatigue. Villains like Obito and Ochinomaru initially play to shade some more ambiguity receives what seems like a slap on the wrist for the gen genocidal actions. Like Obito murdered Naruto's parents, tried to kill Naruto as a baby, created a, a genocidal dictator in the Miss Village, and, and started the Great Ninja War arc which led to the death of so many people, yet Naruto called him coolest guy ever, bro. The resolution of the character arc seemed rushed. The scales of the crime does not match their eventual pardons and redemptions, undermining the narrative for moral framework. And Orchard Orichimaru is a child murderer, yet he gets a pardon, you know? The problem of destiny, sacrifice of the underdog theme, narrow uh, initial alert lies chiefly in its protagonist's unraving determinations, symbolizing the idea that hard work and dedication can overcome instrumental obstacles. However, the underdog slash hard work narrative stumbles when we discover narrative is not just a determined teenager, he's the child of prophecy, the reincarnation of Ashura, and possessed a special Uzumaki bloodline that gives him near unlimited chakra, also along with him being the fourth Okai son and the nine-tailed fox. And he also gets a stage of six pass. Th these revelations and unfair power-ups rob Naruto of his relatability and diminish the significance of his struggles. By making him a product of fate where, rather than his own hard work, by making a product of fate rather than his own hard work, Naruto undermines the very core of his narrative character. The relatability of his journey from an ostracized child to a, to a great leader becomes overshadowed by a return to destiny, highlighting the impact of his efforts and sacrifices. Female characters in decline and miss opportunity. Much to chagrin of the treatment of female characters in Naruto leave much to be desired. Characters like Sakura in Hinata start with considered potential, showcasing their strengths and motivations. However, as the series progressed, a grisly reality supporting was defined by their romantic interest in Naruto and Sasuke. Sakura, who has shown some growth and capability in early Shippuden, often becomes, becomes a symbol of a talented Kinuchi whose character was overshot by her toxic infatuation with Sasuke. She married a man who tried to kill her three times. Similarly, Hinata's strong initial character is largely consumed by her stalking and, admir and one side admiration for n for Naruto, she does not just the guts to become one of his closest friends. And this tendency to sideline and poorly write female characters in favor of male relationships and the overwhelming plot demonstrates a glaring gap in Kishimoto's writing, failing to do justice to the potential of these characters. Conclusion, a love-hate relationship, Naruto holds a special place in its heart of many plans where its memorable cast and emotional storytelling. However, its later arc suffers from inconsistencies, narrative bloat, and questionable character development choices, including aliens. While the series starts solidly and develops emotionally charged moments, it ultimately loses its fitting, a bittersweet for a story that bonds so much with Sasuke getting a pardon for being a war criminal terrorist, Naruto being a a fake underdog bootlicker who forgives 
genocidal monsters, Sakura becoming a clingy battered simp who marries her abuser, Hinata being a stalking simp who doesn't even mourn for her cousin's death, saying Naruto's hands is oh so fine. You know? As much as I appreciate the journey and the impact Naruto has on the manga landscape, it stands out as the weakest of the big three for me. It's a testament to what could have been a story about an underdog that who overcomes the narr- who overcomes the cycle of hatred, who gets its own earliest sense of hardware, persistence, and importance of character for its inhabitants, regardless of gender.